What's good, fam? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, we're going to talk about EQ, also known as equalization. All right? So let's begin. Equalization, EQ. Every DAW has an EQ inside of it. It's a basic EQ. Some sound good, some may not. Uh, but each, each DAW will have an EQ inside of it. Uh, this is not the uh, EQ that comes with this door, but they all do the same thing. I'm just using this one because it, it it has a great graphical display that will show you the frequencies that you're cutting and you're boosting. All right. I mean, you can have an EQ that looks like this. You can have an EQ that looks like this, or you can have an EQ that looks like this. Doesn't matter. They all do the same thing, but have different um sonic qualities so to speak all right i'm using this one because it has a great graphical display and you'll see it once i start playing this um drum loop real quick all right each eq has a certain amount of bands to it all right this one has right now one two three four five this one has about five bands on it right now i can add more if i wanted to by clicking on the line here I can delete the band by just clicking the X. If you want to check out the ozone elements, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's the first link in the description to download the ozone elements if you like what you see here. All right. All right. So on the ozone elements, I took off the imager and maximizer. All right. It's, this is a uh, mastering plugin. So you usually use this on your mastering chain. And yeah, so this is a five band EQ right now. Each band has three controls that you can use to shape the sound that you're currently um, playing or using, all right? The first one is frequency. And your frequency, the average human can hear between 20 hertz, which is down here, that's like the sub bass, all the way up to 20,000 hertz, all right? So that's your frequency range. You can move it up, you can move it down, and this will control what frequencies you're going to boost or cut, all right? If you want to boost or, or cut, you can use the gain here. With the gain, you can boost or you can cut. And it shows you negative 5 dB or negative 4.8. And the next thing you can do is you can, as you can see, this. Let's just boost it real quick. This boost is happening at. I'm trying to get it on a thousand hertz. But this is happening at 1K. I'm boosting at 1K, but it's also boosting a lot of frequencies on both sides of 1K. This one is boosting all the way up to 10,000 10, 10, hertz or 10K. And on the other side, it's going all the way down to 100 hertz. So that's a pretty big boost. You know what I mean? If you want to narrow that boost, you can use the Q. All right? And the Q is right here. The lower the Q, the wider the, wider the boost. The higher the Q... As you can see, it gets narrow. So you could you could pinpoint a particular frequency that is annoying you, and then you could drop it. You could cut it out just by dropping the uh, the band. All right. Now this is a bell shaped curve, as you can see here. In this bell, you have proportional Q. This basically gets narrower as it goes further up. As you can see, look how wide it starts. And then the further you go up, it starts to narrow. Right? The regular bell...
You also have when you go to the end here or the or the beginning, you could bring these to what's called a high pass. So this will let all the high frequencies pass through. And let's play the loop real quick. So we got a drum loop. And let's play this loop real quick. Make sure you got your headphones on or your speakers or your monitor speakers on. If you're listening through your phone, this is probably not going to be heard too well. All right. So we got this loop going. And let's just play around with some of the some of the stuff we have here. Let's just we have a bell right here. So you can cut frequencies. You can boost frequencies. You can narrow the cue. And sweep your frequencies. If you come down here, right now I have this set to high pass. So it's gonna let all the highs pass through and and the lows will not be heard. All right. So let's move this. Uh, let's move this band. As you can see, it's starting to cut out some of the lows right now. Now, something you may want to know here. When you're dealing with a high pass or low pass filter, you have what's called a slope. Right now it's set to 6 dB per octave. This is kind of a more musical type of slope, and I'm going to show you why. If you listen to the if you listen to the drum beat now, you can hear all the frequencies, right? You may not be able to hear the kick drum as much, but you can still kind of hear everything. If we want to we could boost that slope, it becomes more of a steeper So we went, let's go from 6 dB per octave to 12. Look how much more uh, frequencies it takes out. And then we'll go from 12 to 24. It takes out more frequencies. This is more used for like a surgical type of EQ or if you're doing some type of effect, you know, you wanna make a, if you wanna make like a hi-hat loop out of this, you can. Now that's 48 dB per octave. See, I could take that right there, just make that a hi-hat loop, add some effects to it. So that's a high pass. A low pass does the exact opposite. And you also have what's called a brick wall. That's the most surgical of the EQ, uh, most surgical um, kind of low pass you can have. Because it really cuts the, any frequencies above that it is not playing. It's playing a little bit of it, but you see it's like all the extra stuff on the side here is gone. If we go back to low pass, you see the you see the information there, and that's at the and that's at the steepest slope, 48 dB per octave. It doesn't go any steeper than that. But if I go to brick wall, look at the information you just lost. All right. So just to show you the information you could be cutting out of this drum loop, like right now, that's like the the sub lows. You might want to keep the sub lows for like a like a speaker system. 
you know, if you're in a club or something, you know, you want that that speaker to bump. But let's say we bring it down all the way down to 50 hertz. I mean, I hear it because I got some headphones on, but boom, 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 boom. I hear it, but it's, it's very faint. And if you go down to even like 30, you can't hear anything. Or 35, you can't hear anything. And if you can, let me know. You got some great hearing. Um, But yeah. So if I'm mixing a song right now, I know that I can use a high pass filter at 35 hertz and it's going to help me clean up my mix like I like I taught you in the last video um or the video before last one of the two um but yeah I know I could clean up at 35 hertz and it'll sound cool so I would bring this to about 35 and that'll leave room for my um if I have a bass player or a bass line, the bass line could, could live in this little area right here. All right? You can also, with the ozone elements, you can solo frequencies too. So, let's say I have this band right here and I boost it up. I can solo that. So, that's just, the, that's just that little frequency band soloed. And you're hearing that little bit of frequency range here. So yeah. All right, so every band on your EQ has a frequency, a gain, and a Q. The frequency controls what frequency range you want to boost a cut. The gain controls how much you boost or cut and the Q controls the width of your boost or your cut and you can also change the different shapes you can experiment here uh, with EQ the one thing I do want to say is that there is no right and there is no wrong there is um, there is a science to it, but there's no right, there's no wrong. As long as what the product is sounds good, cool. This is just the basis to get you started, and I hope it helps. If it did, please click a like. Please click the like button for the video. Please comment below if you gained anything from it. Please share this video with somebody who might need the video and might need the help also like i said before if you want to check out the ozone elements the ozone elements will be the first link in the description it'll lead you to a uh, plugin boutique you can download it um also if you want to check out all the gear in my studio it'll be all in amazon links below if it's your first time here Click the second link below. It'll be my free drum kit. Uh, that'll be my personal thanks to you for watching the video all the way through. And that's it. Also, if you need more sounds, you need more loops, you need more everything to, to help boost your sound quality, check out the link below called Loop Cloud and Loop Masters. Definitely what you want to start your um, beats off with. High quality sounds from the jump. And that's it. It's your man, Jimmy Conway, BeastfulLyricist.com, music production tips, EQing basics, and I'm out. Peace.